Welcome to Minity Maths. In this video we are going to explain the order of operations, as well as acronyms such as BIDMAS, BODMAS and PEMDAS. We will then look at some examples, followed by practice questions and answers. Subscribe to Minity Maths for weekly videos. So, what is an operation? In mathematics, an operation is an action that is carried out on a number, usually to change it. This could be addition, division, or squaring for example. So, why do we need an agreed order of operations? Take this question for example, without agreeing what order to calculate it in, people could get different answers. That is why we have an agreed rule to follow when working out questions like this. You may have heard of BODMAS, BIDMAS or PEMDAS in relation to the order of operations. These are acronyms to help us remember the correct order in which to solve math problems. Let's go through what the acronyms stand for, and some very important points to remember. We start with B, or P, which stands for brackets or parentheses. Anything within brackets should be calculated first. Next up we have I, E, or O. These stand for indices, exponents, or orders, but also includes roots, such as a square root. Next we have D and M, which stand for division and multiplication. It is extremely important to remember that division and multiplication have the same importance. We calculate them in whatever order they appear in the question, from left to right. So depending on the question, either division or multiplication could come first. This is a crucial point to remember, as the acronyms themselves can sometimes cause confusion. Lastly, A and S stand for addition and subtraction. Again, it's important to note that these two operations are also calculated in the order they appear in the question, as they have the same importance. OK, so let's look at an example. Here there are no brackets, no indices, and no division. But there is multiplication, so we calculate this first. Next we carry out the addition to solve the question. In this next example we can see there are no brackets, and no indices, but there is a division. So we calculate the division first. We are then left with addition and subtraction. Remember that addition and subtraction share the same importance, and so are carried out in the order they appear, from left to right. So here, we would calculate the subtraction first, followed by the addition. In this question, anything inside the brackets needs to be carried out first. This is then followed by the multiplication, as there are no indices. For this example, there are no brackets. However, there is an index number, so we work this out first. There is no division, but there is a multiplication. So we work this out, followed then by the addition. Have a look at these. Which one of these would have an answer of 16, if we follow the correct order of operations? Well done if you chose the top one. The use of brackets here means that the answer is 16. It is important to note that when writing mathematical expressions and equations, we should make it clear how we want the calculation to be carried out. The use of ambiguous equations has caused much debate over the internet. Always use notation, such as brackets, to create unambiguous expressions. Here are some practice questions. Pause the video while you work them out, and use the order of operations we have just learnt, to calculate the answers. Thanks for watching Minity Maths. Subscribe for weekly videos.